Hi everybody, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to solve a problem basing on the one dimensional motion of a body. See, the problem is given like this. A stone is allowed to fall from the top of a tower of height 300 meters. So let me start from there itself. Let me first explain. So there is a tower. This tower is having a total height of H from which a stone is allowed to fall. It's falling freely with an initial velocity 0. Of course, this H is given for you. I will substitute the data a little later. Simultaneously, it is given in the problem that there is another stone at the same time. There is another stone which is projected vertically up from the ground with a velocity of 100 meter per second. So simultaneously from the ground, not only this stone is coming down, this stone is going up. As it has to go up, it must have some velocity. Let the velocity of this body is something like u. So what is happening is, this stone will be coming down. This stone will be moving up. So somewhere in the journey, they are going to meet. So our question is, where they are going to meet and when they are going to meet. That's the question, right? So when the, where they are going to meet and when they are going to meet is the question. So let us say from the top, they were met at a height x. From the bottom, they were met at a height y. So it is obvious that the x plus y is nothing but the total height of the tower h. Let us start about a freely falling body. For the freely falling dropped body, for the freely falling body. I would like to use the equation s equal to ut plus half at square. As per our notation, it is falling a distance x. It has no initial velocity. It is falling under the gravity plus g because the velocity is increasing. So the formula for the x is half gt square. That's for the freely falling body. Let us write the same for the vertically thrown body. For the vertically thrown up body. Yeah, I would like to use the same equation. S equal to ut plus half a t square s is y u is there a is minus g because it's going against the gravity so minus g t square instead of this minus half g t square as we have calculated in the first part of the problem x is nothing but equal to half g t square so i will substitute that value of the x in this equation it implies what happens to y is u t minus half g t square, that's nothing but x. Get that x this side. y plus equal x equal to u t. But you know y plus x is the total height of the tower u t. t is the time after which they are meeting because each of them is traveling for a time time. t one downward other upward. So the time after which they meet is time after t equal to h by u the two stones will meet the two stones will meet i can substitute the data now h is given as 300 meters t is given for you as 100 meter per second so they are going to meet after a time of three seconds where they are going to meet this is much easy i know the time i know the equation for the x says half g t square that x value i can calculate easily if say for example g is 10 t square is 9 that is 90 by 2 that is nothing but equal to 45 meters that means 
the freely falling body covers a distance of 45 meters before it meets the other body it is obvious that y will become h minus x h is 300 minus 45 so its value will be automatically 255 meters so i am able to calculate when they are going to meet and where they are going to meet thank you for watching keep coming for more and more video lessons